Soaking up the moment, the 17-year-old Raul Rosas Jr., native of New Mexico, he now calls Las Vegas home. His father's been his coach. His brother is in his corner as well. What a story this would be, Paul, if a 17-year-old gets a contract in the UFC at Man, night's end. We have seen some young people come in here and get contracts, but 17 is, is next level. But, but like we talked about, he's here for a reason. He's got the skills. He's got the backing of people that have trained with him who have seen him fight. His results are there. He's an incredible grappler, good submission threat. I, I just hope for his case that it's, yeah, it goes well at least. When I was 17, I was going through a highly oh unnecessary God. grunge phase. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he has dedicated his entire life to martial arts. So it's really, I said at the beginning, not all 17-year-olds are created equal. He's been fighting since he was about four. And he actually had youth MMA fights before he was 10 years old. So although he is only 17, he actually has a wealth of experience. And his, with adults. With adults, you know? exactly. exactly. He was he was the only kid in the adult MMA class. He and his brother would match up quite a bit, but he said, I'm used to that adult strength because it's really, it's, it's all, all I've ever yeah. known. Exactly. Yeah, a good point. First MMA fight at eight years old among the youth scene, but when he was, you know, 17, 16, he's fighting guys into their 30s in these fights to get himself 5-0. and oh. He's been a pro since last November of 2021. He squeezed in five fights. His parents had to sign a notarized form for him to be able to compete tonight. The commission had to look at the footage to make sure he was legit. And they said, he sure is. Can he stay undefeated and get himself a UFC contract here at the UFC Apex? Let's look at the tail of the tape. Raul Rosas Jr., much has been made of 17 years old. Mando Gutierrez is 25 years old. Not many times you're going to be 25 and eight years older than your opponent. Rosas has the size advantage, three inches taller, but a three inch edge in reach. Lies with a small underdog out of Michigan, Mando Gutierrez. Here's Jason Herzog to get this bantamweight matchup started. First round, Fighter, you ready? Fighter, you ready? Fight! Raul Rosas Jr. is in the red, Mando Gutierrez in the blue. Furious action to start. Yanni wasn't wrong about that size of Ben. I mean, he's definitely not Ooh. a Whoa. small kid. Spin kick. And there it goes. And Rosas Jr. grabs the single leg as they work along the fence. Gutierrez does have this guillotine. Comes for the though. guillotine. He's pushing on the hips, trying to get some more space in there. Nice work to jump to the outside. And that's one thing you could just geek out for hours watching film on Rosas. I mean, the, well, there's not hours of film because he finishes a lot of his fights, <laughs> yeah. but you get my point. His passes, the way that he's able to move from position to position and be just a step ahead, constantly setting things up, the thing of beauty. But this is his first test. Absolutely, this is his first test. He's fighting a real guy with a real record tonight. That was a mistake from Gutierrez. Yep. He tried to jump to the back instead of securing that he could stay on his feet and get out of that position, and now look where he's at. Rosas Jr. able to slice that right leg over right into mount. Combined nine first round finishes between these two and their 12 wins. And he's eating some big shots too. He's gonna try to get to the back. back. Rosas only with one hook in, but I've seen him get shaken off the front and land right into an arm bar and finish a fight like that. He's so, so diverse and so dynamic with his submission attempts. Yeah, look at this, I mean, the transitions. He's just constantly keeping himself in a spot where he can threaten something. Now Gutierrez is doing a lot of the right things here. Tripoding up, trying to get Rosas Jr. to fall off the top. And he's also blocking that second hook. You can see Gutierrez there. Oh, oh, body oh, triangle. That that body triangle. Now you've got to roll to your back. I love how Rosa switched which side he had the lock on because Gutierrez was hipping into that side. Just a step ahead. Oh, wow, heavy shots. Oh, good elbows here from yes. Rosa. And that forces Gutierrez oh. to oh, might have try to escape. That would be insane. That He's might be that a leg. long stretch. Yeah, he was set, trying to set it up. He's giving him a stretch, all right, either way. Oh my gosh. He's got that leg. Oh. He's got that leg. Oh my oh. gosh. 
Oh, he doesn't he have pull the angle. It off? He doesn't the, have the angle quite yeah, right. The knee, the knee needs well, to be he's still got now. two minutes to... Oh, wow. oh my gosh, that would have been incredible. But that even alone, that attempt shows you the level of jujitsu this kid has. Absolutely. Now he's flattened him out, hipping into his back, making Gutierrez's life miserable at the moment. But he's still staying calm. You see him looking up, trying to find his way out of here. Yeah, Gutierrez has the hands trapped, but when your hips are off the canvas like that, your feet are, it's just such a helpless feeling. Almost has the left out, now he does. That forces another move from Gutierrez. And he nearly gets his guard back. Nice pass, already right over past that guard. Unbelievable. Yeah, Gutierrez needs to let go of this, this, is doing of this high. Yeah, that mission control that he had there with that, with that one leg. Trying to control the posture, but he's got to start thinking about rebuilding and getting back to the feet. He's got to try to just stay safe. He keeps yeah, doing these explosive movements to get out. He's going to get caught. How about Gilbert Burns giving the kid a shout out? Gilbert Burns tell you, tells you you have good grappling. Oh, he says something, but Gutierrez able to reverse now. Now we'll see what Gutierrez has to offer in this dominant position. Yeah, he's got to get some respect back. Because it's been a jiu-jitsu domination thus far. Got the neck back to his feet. Guillotine attempt from Gutierrez. Got full guard. As he sinks to his back. I can't see from this angle. 35 seconds. This is decently deep, and he does have the legs locked up. No. But with the arm in like that, it looks very like the difficult head's popping to finish. Out. Yep. Yep. I mean, I'm sure he's not happy in there. But he's got his shoulders. See how his shoulders shimmying out, too? Well, if he's breathing, he can just last until the horn. And now he's settled. safe. Now that Rosas has passed, he's completely safe. Now he's looking for that Von Flume. Not enough time. How about that for a first round on the ground between these two? Back and forth they went. Impressive showing from Raul Rosas. Respira, respira. Breathe, breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Disculpe si quieres, eh? Okay, estás haciendo bien, estás haciendo bien. You're doing good, you're doing good. Respira, respira. Breathe, breathe, okay. You're doing good. You need to keep closer, get closer. Just a phenomenal round for Rosas. We haven't seen that wrinkle in his game. We haven't really seen much of his striking, but what we do know is how good he is at controlling guys on the canvas. Moves right into side control here, looking briefly for the Suluev stretch, but the knee was not at the right angle, was not able to completely straighten that leg out, but... Dana liked it. It was a very, very good attempt. Creative submissions and just relentless chaining together. Stacked from top to bottom, UFC 280 is coming this October. Charles Oliveira against Islam Makachev for the undisputed lightweight championship. Aljamain Sterling defends his bantamweight belt against TJ Dillashaw, plus Piotr Jan, Sean O'Malley, Benil Dariush, Matouche Gamrot, and so much more. Saturday, October 22nd, live on ESPN Plus pay-per-view. Special start time, main cards at 2 p.m. Eastern. Clean uh, right hook there. For oh, wow, how about that? I love that, fakes the knee right into the hips. He's so good at this, too. He'll collect the legs and cross his own feet if he can. Gutierrez is trying to hang on and prevent the advancement from Rosas. Yeah, at I some point, it, he's got to let go of that upper body. Exactly. I think he was trying to use it as a sweep, but oh, now he's back in a little bit deeper this time on that guillotine. Rosas just too aware. Mm. Look at that. He's always able to sneak around those legs and get past. He's going to slide that left knee. Yep, right exactly. He does such a good job of stapling that lower leg and putting you in a position where you're not quite in half guard, you're not quite giving up your back, you're just stuck. Slide that cross like butter. I was just going to say that. And now yeah, Gutierrez again flattened out and forced to give his back. You got to wonder how many times he can do this and get away with it. Yeah, I think if this keeps going at this pace, Rosas Jr. is going to find the neck. 
or the arm or the leg or something. He's still looking for that. That's, yeah, that Sulu up stretch he was thinking about. Yeah, the corner of Gutierrez saying he's high. And they're trying to let him he escape off high. the top, and he does so. Nice work from Gutierrez. He's got to make something happen for himself offensively, though. Now's the opportunity. You got to pound. You got to do something. Take his back. Nah. He keeps pulling into these less dominant positions, sitting through for guillotines. And it's just when you have a guy who's that good at jujitsu, you have to start employing ground and pound position over submission. You've got to recognize at some point, you've got to be an intelligent fighter and go, okay, listen, if I just play this jujitsu game, maybe I'm going to lose. Maybe you go, I hurt, I hurt him with a right hook. I landed one clean punch on the feet. Let's try this. Maybe he's getting fatigued from all of this grappling. I think a little bit of ego is at play here. He's trying to get... Another guillotine. Yeah. Instead, it's Rosas back to his feet. Just over two minutes to go. I mean, these guys pace. are glued to each other right now. Well, and we knew this was going to be the case, right? When we talked about how both these guys, their expertise is primarily grappling, especially for Rosas Jr. And Gutierrez, six finishes and seven wins, all six submissions. Listen into the corner of Mondo Gutierrez out of Murcia Lago MMA. I put a lot of pressure on the neck. You can see the face. Don't lose that position if you not go to your back. Striking. Don't lose that position if you not go for submission. Striking. Top position. Top position. Take this round. There you go. Take this round. There you go. I want this round. 90 seconds to go in the round. They're starting to like it in yeah. the Gutierrez corner. Mondo's corner, very, very adamant that he not play the submission game like we talked about, Paul. He's got to dominate the position and look to have some ground and pound. Yeah, and you've got this young kid. I don't care how good he is. You've got to start to hit him with some shots that make him rethink why he's here, and he's not doing that. And now look at what Rosas Jr. does. Ends up back on top because he didn't listen to his corner. He could have not taken the back and just went crazy with elbows and strikes. And instead, it's tough though. Once you start getting engaged in those kind of exchanges, it, it becomes second nature. Even though that might not be your game plan as a fighter, it's hard to, it's hard to fight past the, those instincts. Gutierrez was thinking about a triangle there for a second, but no going. I feel like he's accepting this this position a little bit too much for such a for such a good jujitsu fighter that he is. He's got to start digging butterflies and looking for sweeps. Guard close, bottom position for Gutierrez. Final 20 seconds of the round. We showed you the control time, heavily in favor of Rosas Jr., who's at nearly seven minutes through the first two rounds. And this fight will head to a third round as we hit the horn. Get to this corner. Let's go. Let's go. Get some ice on him. Get some ice on him. Here, get some ice on him. Get the, get the court. Listen, listen. How bad do you want this? You got to steal the kill. Listen, don't lose the position. Don't yeah. lose the position. Stay in top position to do damage. Yeah. You're doing good when you're striking. Yeah. So go ahead and let it go, OK? You have the ability to scramble, but when you lose the position and you're back on your back, yeah. don't go for low percentage submissions. Yeah. Stay in top position to take this round. You got to yeah. stop them. You got to stop them. Yes, it's plain and simple. Yes, you got to stop them, OK? Yes. Don't lose position. Be in dominant positions and beat his ass. Yes, sir. Let's go, three minutes. Yep. Let's go. Yep. You got to have this round, and you'll want you to finish him. Okay? Straight downs down the center. Straight shots down the center. Let's go. Let's go. He's getting desperate. UFC Fight Pass is home to the world's largest combat sports library and more than 200 live events a year. Sign up today to see the stars of tomorrow before they reach the UFC, only with UFC Fight Pass. Step into our world. I think pretty good corner advice there in the corner of Mondo Gutierrez. A lot of urgency. Saying that their fighter needs to stop Raul Rosas if he wants to get the win and any hopes at a contract. Uh, I mean. 
Well, he's on top is Gutierrez. This is a good spot for him, although I, you know, I, I, I probably would have asked him to keep it on the feet if I was his corner because he was, you know, Ro Rosas Jr. was getting a little hectic out there in the openings, but he is in a dominant position now. Now it's a matter of keeping this position, not getting swept, but and doing damage. Yes. Much harder to get a finish from here. He's got to watch the arm bar. Oh, now takes the back. I don't think he should take the back. Nope. Wow. That happens. It's easy to lose the back. Especially to a, a you know, a Somebody wild has wild grappler first. like, right. like Rosas Jr. He's, he's comfortable there. You, know, you, think, you don't think every day when he's on the mats, at some point against other high-level grapplers, he's fighting to get off, you know, somebody off of his back or reverse that position. Looks like there's some damage on the left side of Gutierrez's face. It's starting to bleed into his eye a little bit, or is it on the bridge of the nose? Gutierrez has to open up his guard and just get up right. at this point. He's got to shrimp his hips out, find a post, take a few shots if you must. Right. It's Rosa's turn up the volume here. Love it. Good to see. He's showing us a little bit of everything here tonight. Great, I mean, obviously great grappling, great takedowns. Aggressive with his strikes from the top position. Was not was not shying away from on exchanging feet, on the feet. Yeah, on the feet, I thought he looked pretty pretty good as well. Yeah. Still green, but he just hasn't had to show that yet. Yeah. But you can tell if he's tested against somebody with really solid defense and can keep it on the feet, he'll he'll exchange. More time on the back for Rosas as we hit the halfway point of the third and final round. Yeah, control time's got to be through the roof. He's still reaching for that leg. He wants that leg, definitely. Oh, able to stay on the back. And the clock is starting to be a major enemy of Mondo Gutierrez as we approach two minutes. It's just tough to you got I, I you know I do feel for Gutierrez you, you're a grappler your your strengths are in these same positions you win fights in these positions but that's why in MMA we've got to try to be so diverse because you're always going to run into somebody at some point who's better than you in that area. Mondo's trying to turn in but the body triangle of Rosas Jr. allows him to keep the back here. Ideally, Mondo would start scooting his hips out to the right, but that body triangle just so tight for Moses Jr. And what we were asking ourselves is for the 17-year-old Rosas Jr., after that burst of energy, the adrenaline dump, would he have the grit and the man strength that takes deep into the fight? And it's the reverse of what we might have thought. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Good to be 17. <laughs> <laughs> well, no matter what happens tonight, the result of this fight appears to be going the way of Rosas Jr., whether he gets the contract or not. This young man has a very bright future in MMA, perhaps the UFC. And it's proof of the larger youth movement in general in mixed oh, martial right. arts. I mean, we've seen it, especially in the latter half of the summer on the Contender Series, saw it in San Diego in that strawweight fight. Twenty seconds to go. I'm interested to hear Dana's thoughts on this fight. Yeah. Often he rewards effort, and there is no shortage of effort on the part of Rosas Jr. Very impressive. Oh, one final submission dead. attempt. Oh. And there's the final horn. First time, 15 full minutes for the 17-year-old Raul Rosas Jr. Mondo Gutierrez goes the distance as well. And now the respect between these two after largely a frantic back and forth grappling contest. Insane grappling. Yeah, well done. I mean
mean, he's not wrong. Let's take a look at this beautiful work by Raul Rosas Jr. A spinning back kick, well done. And again, just continues to find these positions where he's able to overpower, you know, the, the man strength of Gutierrez, looking for that Suluev stretch. I believe this was from round one, continued to find it later in the fight as well. And even when he had his back taken, Raul Rosas Jr. able to reverse those positions, landed a beautiful left hand there on the feet, fights well backing. I mean, we're, we learned a lot about him tonight in this fight, oh, and his yeah. ability to fight through these tough positions. It was certainly the most adversity I've seen him face, but still a dominant performance from this 17 year old. It's crazy to say that. Let's get the official decision. And for that, here is Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision. Raul Rosas Jr. Well, perhaps Pauly came for a bit more. A finish, a submission, an impressive highlight. But I would argue you can't do it much better than that for 17-year-old Raul Rosas Jr. There were many people wondering, is this where he belongs at this point in his career? And he showed he can hang. He definitely showed he can hang. He showed he's got fantastic skills. He's very well-rounded. And you can tell the man is just passionate. Excuse me. The teenager is very yes, passionate yes, yes. about. Well, let's see what he's. Can't quite pick it up. Yanni, what do you have? You cash that ticket with the with the favorite here. Yes, we did with the money line. But more importantly, going against the narrative in prop betting usually gives you the best of it. And with 12 finishes in 13 combined fights, no surprise. Rosa's junior by decision paid three to one. Going over two and a half, paid plus 125. So there was a lot of plus money, even though the money line favorite cash if you work those prop bets. All right, thanks very much, Johnny. Still undefeated is Raul Rosas Jr., who is with Laura. Thank you very much, Brendan. Well, you are still undefeated and an absolutely dominant performance almost the entire fight. How happy are you with this fight tonight? I'm happy, but I'm not satisfied, you know? I didn't get the finish, but forget that. I got the experience, you know, and I got to show a little bit more on my level, you know? Third round, I was planning to show y'all some of my striking, but he was able to get the takedown, and congrats to him on that, you know? But next time, I won't go like that. We saw you stop and exchange a few, few words with Dana. What did you say to Dana? You know, I told him, despite my age, I'll finish a lot of guys in the UFC, you know? They're not, the, they're not my level, forget about my age. Anybody, you know, give me that contract. Give me a fight this Saturday, next Saturday, or both, you know, I'm ready whenever I was born to fight. And I'm not gonna take a break in the middle, I'll take a break at the end. Did Gutierrez have you in any bad spots at any point? He, was, he had a few submission attempts. Were any of them close? Hell no. <laughs> but it was good. You know, he tried, you know. Fuck it. That's what we're here for, you know. But hell no, I'm not tapping to anything. Do you feel like you're ready for the UFC? Hell yeah. I think that's a mic drop moment right there. Congratulations, <laughs> Raul. Excellent win. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.